no way to turn around that corner without doing yes, that. What? what? Yes. Oh! Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh! Yeah, that shortcut. Yeah, that's one. Of Going them. through the clouds. But that was legit? You knew about this? Yeah. It's legit. Like, cut through the environment again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I'm going to talk with the lead environment already. So gonna, <laughs> I'm going to put collisions here. <laughs> oh. Joe, fire somebody. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. I had no yeah, idea exactly. you could do that. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, he pulled it off. Uh, Actually, he jumped all. Yeah. Uh, he jumped over the the, the pillar. Yeah. I feel like uh, I suck at this game now. Hey, my name is Thomas Wilson. I'm the creative director and co-student head at Beanox, and I'm joined with my friends. Uh, I am Phil, uh, Phil Turcotte, the game director on uh, Crash uh, on CTR, Nitro Fuel. And I'm Jason Gutbu, the art director that had the opportunity <laughs> to work on Crash Emerge. All right, so this is exciting. Yeah. You know, looking at completing the adventure mode at about like 46 <clears throat> minutes, that's crazy. Took him like four seconds to customize and choose his character. Yeah. That's... You can see it. this guy knows what he, what yep. he wants. I yep. think it took me actually 46 days to complete it myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's kind of cool is that, uh, you know, we can see that he's customized the speed yep. of his engine, which is a feature that was added at a later stage. Yes, absolutely. Otherwise, Pura was a beginner character. Yep. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. It was really a feature we wanted to put in because we felt that if you had a favorite character, uh, we, without breaking the game, you could just choose the character that you liked. Yep. Uh, of course, first shortcut here, right? Yes, yeah, So if people don't know, you definitely need to Smaller jump on that there ledge. to get the boost. Yep. We dropped on the bridge. Definitely hanging the corners here. It's kind of impressive. I tend to hit the walls yeah. when I'm falling this close. <laughs> I just, I, it's impossible for me to drift like that. I mean, I've played this game so much just to review the maps all the times while in production nice and i'm still not able to drift like oh that my God. see that it was all it almost yeah, fell in the water small. that's pretty impressive Boom. yeah maintaining that uh, that fire the the reserve is uh pretty good yep. uh you can see the tires are glowing which is a new feature we added for this game because we wanted to let people we knew the hardcore players would know exactly what they were doing but we felt we could uh provide additional sign and feedback uh, to the players, as well as the meter you see at the bottom right, uh, where you have an indication of when to hit the boost button, uh, although the, the smoke turns black as well. So multiple ways of understanding when it's time to hit. Already catching up to the other uh, is he, folks. Yeah. Is he even playing at hard mode, or is this easy? Uh, that's a very good question. It looks, yeah. it almost feels like it's easy, yeah, but I'm uh, pretty sure it's it part of the either. Classic, yeah. probably it's the yeah. normal difficulty. Podium animations here, Pura yeah. celebrating. So we had a lot of fun creating a lot of these animations based on uh, different character skins you could wear. Um, you can go faster through turns by power slide. Yeah, and it's kind of interesting to, to see that game being speed run. Uh, yeah, it's, remember it was something we considered? Uh, yes, adding a sort of <laughs> We unfortunately ran out of time to, to develop it, but we had this idea of creating a speed run mode where we would skip all the cutscenes altogether. Uh, but look, it, it I mean, seems like it's, yeah, it's happening yeah, it's, anyway. Yeah, it, well, <laughs> yeah, wanted to add interface and stuff like that, like a timer and everything. But yeah. well, just like we see here. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, so if I'm looking at the two timers here, what 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 are we looking at? So there's a, a, a longer timer, and then is that the actual gameplay? I think one? It's, it's one without well, the cutscene and the started. other uh, with the, the the cutscene. I I think so, because. Yeah, that shortcut. Th this one is a very interesting uh, shortcut. Um, if you're playing, the first time you're playing, if you don't know about it, you, you don't think about turning this way. There's multiple, we have multiple hidden shortcuts in these tracks. And uh, it was really important for us to keep it uh, the way it was. Man, <laughs> and man. this guy's killing it. Yeah. <laughs> See, this, this is very difficult to pull. Like, having the ability oh to sort of drift right, you know, following the edge of the wall without hitting anything. Uh, pretty while, impressive. While in the air, while airborne. Yes, of course. Yeah, that's something. They're already catching up with the other yeah. riders. Makes it look oh, so easy. TNT. Oh! <laughs> Got stuck with a TNT crate. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Look at that. Oh, 24 already? seconds. Man. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, we also added with the the new version the ability to switch characters 
uh, during the adventure yeah, mode. That's true. Uh, the original game was, uh, you know, uh, was really strict. You you could only play with one character, one save game, and if you wanted to play with a different character, you had to sort start of like over. start over a yeah. brand new game. So we thought that with everything we could offer in terms of customization, uh, we felt it was important to, to let players choose. This guy knows where he's, where he's going. Yeah. <laughs> Mystery Caves. Uh, no, you know, man. there's a little bit of story for every track that we developed. So Crash Co, we decided to put a lot of Crash statues, almost as if he had a lot of time on his hand. Uh, nice shortcut here, nice yes. jump with the turtles. That's hard to pull, by the way. Uh, and then uh, Roost Tube, we really wanted to push kind of the underground water. Underwater, uh, aquarium -y yeah. sort of lab. Yeah, and in this one, we, uh, we said, let's go all prehistoric. Of course, we did prehistoric playground in one of the Grand Prix, but Still, at this time, we could have fun with playing a lot of dinosaurs uh, coming from the Insane yeah. Trilogy in the environment to just add life to the world, like, you know, the eggs here with the pterodactyls. This level, I still can't beat that trophy. <laughs> yeah, he's I, I, you see, what, 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 the, what he's doing there is really difficult, like bouncing off the, the, the turtle back and cutting short on the corner because if you hit the ground, you're going to be losing precious speed, so you need to constantly hop or jump over it. You see, like, hanging the, the side here is really key to go straight forward and gain pre precious time so you don't uh, bother too much about the, the fireballs. Yeah, see, there's precious notes here on how you can beat Oxide. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying. Do like yeah, I'm trying. Some of our uh, designers here, they're just yeah. killing it. So I guess all I have to do is throw in a design party at home yeah. and have them do it. Exactly. <laughs> I've been thinking of doing the same thing. Like just inviting the designers, the good players at home for, for I hey, come for yeah. barbecue or something. Then you look hey, good. You want to just, uh, <laughs> just level down? Just, just complete just... these time trials for me, please. You see, like, we're already catching up here. It's, uh, you know, just cruising at full speed. Nice. Nicely done. The turtle back, we had so much difficulty to make them work. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was it a very like, important gameplay yeah, ingredient that uh, we had to... We had to fine-tune it to, to, to make it look like the, the original. The right level, really nice. Hard. Nice. Yeah, it was it was difficult. Oh, and then we also wanted to have the, the right sound when you're boing, you boing, bouncing, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, from the turtle's backs. And also, you know, you might know this, but we've had it, we've uh, hidden a chicken. And every track, and in Mystery Caves, it's on, it's on the third lap that you see yeah. a chicken go through the wall. <laughs> so where are we going next? So of course the hubs, we didn't want to change anything. It had to be just like yeah. the way it was. And just that was matter a nice of, challenge. Yeah. Creating the hubs. Yeah, the, st yeah. the whole the streaming technology oh, that would man. go behind, like loading yeah. every hub was uh, quite a challenge. Uh, because, you know, of course we're not on PS1, but there was so much more detail we've added. Sewer Speedway. Yeah, the greatest <laughs> we, shortcut in the game. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even know that shortcut existed. Yeah, so, you wait. know, of course, yeah, right yeah, there. No. That's that's very unusual. So didn't even seem complicated. Yeah, no. <laughs> but we had to we had to to do some fixing. Yeah, when we a, shipped the game. A small act into <laughs> going into it. Yes, it was really hard to replicate the same feeling in the, than the original. But, yep. Yeah. And of course, because we're kind of recreating the physics here, uh, you know, we wanted to match as close as possible. But there were some challenges in a highly curvy, uh, you know, the very curvy environments. Uh, so we we tweaked the shortcut in the end to make it easier to to pull. Now now I know exactly where to go every time, and I oh really you can pull it off now? Oh yeah, oh yeah, almost I I I, I never I guess I almost I would say never miss. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> never miss. <laughs> But uh, still, you see like how he's sort of cutting the corners, not even following the track, just going straight. It's uh, gaining precious time here. And of course we, you know, in this one we sort of wanted, you know, sewer speedway, we wanted to add life, so we added rats, uh, this big alligator. Uh, we even had uh, this idea, I don't know if you remember, but right around this corner we wanted to create like a kind of a rat village. Uh, yeah, all rat, yeah, yeah, all kinds of rats, rats, like kind of living there. But uh, you know, we ran out of time. Still, we could pull like these blobs, kind of going through the the sewer pipes, which was yeah. uh, pretty funny. We even have that that hidden uh, lab assistant. Yes, lab assistant. Mm -hmm. That's uh, right. Terminator like the Terminator like yeah. lab assistant <laughs> hidden. Yes, all kind of all kinds of hidden gems. 
And again, we barely have time to tell our stories. <laughs> <laughs> too fast. He's too fast. But I mean, you know, people that are good like that, do they even have fun playing with other people? Or I mean, <sighs> that's a good question. At some point, I, I think I think they're probably just. I guess it's too easy yeah. for them, right? I mean, it seems like it. Yeah. The challenge is, is trying to beat yourself. <laughs> yeah. Your times, your so own first times. boss fight here with uh, Rilla Roo. Uh, so we, you know, we of course we're skipping the amazing cutscenes. <laughs> you know, poor animators. That always oh. that's what always what happens. But you know, we really wanted to introduce the villains this time, not just having a still camera angle, uh, but really play with the, the the personality that they had, so that it would be sort of like more impactful when you're. Uh, Beating a boss for the first time, but look at where Rillaru is. He's completely I mean, completely the boss. in the back. Oh, There's God. no challenge He's there. He's not even feeling the challenge. Yes. Uh, hey, like, but I wonder if he catches up to him, does he still like throw throw bombs? You would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, he would. Yes, you can. <laughs> so it's uh, it's not even a challenge. Nope. Yeah. And that's kind of impressive, you know. Poor Rillaru. Oh, because I can tell you, some of these bosses, when you're not too familiar, especially Oxide, can be annoying <laughs> as hell. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Hey. Already... He has a lap. Yeah. Wow. He actually just passed him by. <laughs> wow, amazing. Very, very impressive. Skipping the cutscene, I guess, again. Uh, that's something we've added, by the way. The keys unlocking the doors was not something that was present in the original game. Uh, and here it was called Gemstone Valley, but there was no gemstone. Gem. So we added gems, uh, added a lot more details to the environment here to, to make it feel like it was really mm -hmm. what it should be called. Look, even <laughs> even like hitting boost here like <laughs> at full speed to, to travel the hub. Yeah. And actually, you know, what he's doing right there was part of a challenge, making sure that as you're going at full speed between the hubs, yeah. yep. that, you know, it would unload and load it at, you know, at the right level so yes. you wouldn't see any popping. So believe me, we were really hard to making sure that the transitions were, <laughs> were really I'm, smooth. I'm actually happy seeing this, that, mm -hmm. that you didn't hit, like, that loading wall. Yep. Yes, we had that at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a real bad. challenge to make sure that, you know, we wouldn't be stopping the game in the middle and, you know, with the loading screen, uh, okay with loading writing down. So Tiger Temple, uh, that's one also, it's very, it's a very wide track, uh, but there's that shortcut in the middle with the golden door. Uh, we made it a little more obvious uh, this time around, but still, it's still hidden for those who don't know. Uh, and Tiger but, Temple know, look, was actually one of our- the grass. <laughs> wow, that, that's yeah. something I can't pull. Yeah, Driving so fast in the grass, <laughs> need to insane. build your reserve. Jumping yeah. and using the reserve to yes. cut through the grass. Well done. Yeah, Tiger Temple okay, was like a, a oh, benchmark level for us, right? It was one of the first levels that we, we've actually completed. Uh, You're right. So we had remastered. three maps. It was Crash Go, Tiger Temple, and what was the other one? Coco Park? Coco no, Park? no, Coco Park came way after. Or oh, Rooster, maybe? maybe? I don't know. There's Yeah, we had three levels that we used as a benchmark for what we wanted to add. So, you, uh, you know, it's a level where you'll see a lot of uh, life that's been added. Like, you have, like, the gorilla, the white gorilla there. Uh, you know, we wanted to have like lightning, uh, hitting the environment, rain. Well, there was rain in the first, but you know, adding details to that, uh, you have uh, sort of uh, tribe tribesmen in the environment, like cooking things see, in the village and the bridge and stuff. Like that. Yes, so that was short. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm gonna say that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we see uh, Dingle Eye with his uh, yeah, the, the firefighter. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Adding customization. And I guess our praise go to the Australian uh, folks yeah. who are actually uh, fighting the fires. Um, yeah, so we're... Uh, where are we going next? Coco Park. Park. Your favorite track. One of my favorite, as a matter of fact. Oh, no, no, it's your favorite track. One, <laughs> one thing I have to tell uh, is that I really challenged the level artists here, and I challenged you, Jason, and I said... Put what? 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 <laughs> well, that was that was something. Uh, what? Yeah, I never saw that thing. Jumping Holy over cow! The cave. All right, <laughs> now I'm learning new tricks. New yeah. tricks. Oh, yeah. It's, it, I, I challenge a team. Yeah. See that? I I never do that. 
I was following the road, so I guess I have to go a little bit more off road. That was impressive. Are we gonna see it again? Maybe. Are we gonna see it again? Is he? No. Is he? Wow, that, that was that impressive was anyway. But yeah, this track, I said, yeah, what? try yes, putting... That's wow, that's another track. good one. Yep. Uh, hey, I didn't know that one. Yeah, that's one of the... That's well, I'm so impressed. The original <laughs> yeah. I'm so impressed at what I'm looking at that I can't even comment on my story. <laughs> I was just going to say that we wanted to have... I challenged the team to put too many flowers. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, try me. Try to put as you know so much flowers that it's actually dropping your frame rate until we bring it back to <laughs> something that was totally working but i think this level is uh is, looks gorgeous we've added yeah. the the coco statues everywhere so it, it feels like uh like it coco owns the park one of the things that i thought really added to this track and that we don't see as much in the other tracks is all those flower petals that yes, are on yeah. the track falling on the track yeah on the track yeah. right i mean we don't have any other levels where we have a, a like a, a, a particle or something like that that's on the track that, well you, that you can have snow and rain yeah, snow and, and what what else did we do snow mud sometimes and, uh yeah. you know uh fireflies or something yep. well i mean the coco park <laughs> coco park was very short short and yeah. short and <laughs> where to go off road that's gonna be hard to follow this i don't i, I don't think i'll be no. able to blink for the next uh 40 minutes yes <laughs> Didn't bring a bottle of water. I guess no. uh no. my so my throat. <laughs> Papu's pyramid. This oh, yeah, one that was is... the other track. That yes. was the oh yeah, exactly. Papu was the other one. That's yeah. right. So this one, uh, by the way, uh, there were shortcuts I didn't even know existed. Uh, so, so you see how he's actually right? going. Look what? At yes. yeah, okay, right. that's. Oh, but that's, he missed. That's he, not he fair. He lost his reserve. I, oh, but, I don't know if he gave oh, but time, look. Right? No, that, oh, I knew about this yes, one. That, no, but the know. one I didn't know, and I'm sure he's going to take the corner right there, so. is but right there. Is, yeah. I had no yeah, idea exactly. you could do that. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, he pulled it off. Uh, <laughs> Actually, he, he, jumped for, all, yeah. uh, he jumped over the, the, the pillar. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he went further than I thought was possible. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> Learning the ropes here. And we've been working on this game for a very oh, long time. Yeah, he kept so you need to go through, you need to cut through the grass like that. Oh, oh yeah. nice, nicely done. Yeah. By the way, that's part of the reason why eventually we introduced the ring rally. Yeah. So that we would put rings in places people didn't know uh, could be a shortcut. And that was a way uh, for us to let players know or learn uh, where the hidden shortcuts were for the track. But this, this is, this is nice. I'd be super curious to see that guy do like the ring rallies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's killing it. So, you know, now I feel like I want to go back home and play <laughs> and, and, you know, improve my times. This is, this is impressive. Awesome. You think you'd be able to do that? Uh, <laughs> practice makes perfect. <laughs> yeah. Practice makes perfect. Oh, and yeah, and Papu's Pyramid, one, th one thing that was kind of funny, people might not have noticed, but uh, there's a lot of things going on in the environment. Uh, but, you know, just a story between the hunter and the lion, the beginning of the the the, uh, the gate, the, the, the entry gate. You have a lion slapping a hunter in the back. Uh, yeah, you have uh, you know, the boat on yeah, the... Yeah, roaming, the you know, anti-gravity roaming in the... the, roaming the, in the, the waterfall. <laughs> we have a carnivorous plant. Teaching yes, the kids, teaching how to eat. baby carnivorous yeah. <laughs> plants how to eat. Man, we did so much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Yeah, Adding story and everything. Dingo Canyon, yeah. That this one, we really wanted to push the outback uh, aspect of the environment, like almost going back to the uh, Bugs Bunny cartoons with uh, Wiley e. Coyote. Um, so that's why we added all these pipes to make sort of like an oil. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, the uh, initial story was that we wanted to sort of incorporate in the background, like the uh, napalm factory that that Dingo has, yep. you know, for his flamethrower. Yes. So that section that we just passed on the left, you could see that huge uh, reservoir yeah. tank with the uh, napalm. And, that, in. and that's what we added, also the the the, the Dingo Diner, and yeah. uh, but by the way, you, you can see something that I'm having, I'm still having a hard time pulling, which is. Turning while jumping at the same yes. time, hitting the the, the break. The break. Yeah. Yeah. break. I cannot it, do it's that. It's an at advanced all. technique that I'm still <laughs> struggling. Maybe when I'm going full speed playing a rally, a ring rally, I, I get enough momentum in the air so I can pull it. But it's very, very difficult to pull, in my opinion. We see our designers, you know, do that all the time. And quite honestly, I mean. One of our designers here, uh, you know, Mathieu, is, is 
way beyond an expert to my eyes playing this game, and I'm seeing this guy play, and he's a good contender right there. Oh yeah, for sure. You can see like he keeps the, the you know the momentum. Where, with his oh, 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 okay, just, but that's yeah. He didn't care. He <laughs> didn't care. Going out with a bang. 18 minutes. That's me. So you guys know if this is a, like an official record-breaking time or? That's a very good question, but I'm sure it's a pretty good time. Uh, I don't know. Fortunately, sorry, I, yeah. <laughs> but still, Papu's pyramid again against Papu. But uh, we're not going to do this kind of competition. Pa Papu. <laughs> Papu. Oh, God, <laughs> what you did there. Nice. Yeah, so we see the lion in the back slapping the other hunter. Wow, things are going so fast that uh, we're missing out the details. I guess too bad sometimes for the the environment artists or even the animators, like <laughs> the putting animators so much mostly, love and, yeah. and details into the background. And, you know, the pro players but, won't even... But they did it for the kids. Yes. Um, they did it for the kids. Yes, that's right. Wow. I have to learn to do that. <laughs> This one, I tend to miss as well when I'm jumping over. Well, oh, man, nice. Hanging the edge, so uh, half is far behind. <laughs> and by the way, I can see at the bottom now he's having the classic oh, yeah. uh, HUD. Uh, so it's something where you still want it to keep uh, because it, it was an original game, but we reverse. We even we didn't reverse uh, the meter filling up, nope. so it's going the other way around, just yep. like it was in the original game. Yeah. Well, no we're challenge see, there. Uh, we're not gonna see the cutscenes. No. Poor Papu Papu. Yeah, one of the big things we changed in that cutscene is when Papu reaches in his uh, is in, in, in his pants to get the uh, the key. Yeah. Goes out like a. <laughs> A chicken leg? Yeah. <laughs> and eats that? Yeah. I mean, OG, it worked, but when we did that, yeah. like the... It was like, mm, the not remastered sure. version. <laughs> so, yeah. already, already Glacier Park. Already. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a nice little shortcut. And and by the way, and I'm sure he's going to pull it off, but I'm I'm still struggling jumping easy. right oh, there. Yeah, he's like, going straight forward. Look, it's easy. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This one's Not hard to, to pull. Even, oh, no, nice! Oh, yeah, I, that's I, nice. I, I tend to grab. Uh, I, I tend to go over the other rail, but that's that's real. The thing My is God. that the guy keeps pulling them up. He never miss one. You know, we can, I, I'm able to do one or two shortcuts, but like never failing. Yeah, that's, that's so. Man. So so that's the guy we meet online. Yeah, <laughs> killing us. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I feel like uh, I suck at this game now. Um, here, you know, by the way, uh, one thing that was not part of the original Blizzard Bluff is we decided to make that as a ski resort for penguins. So a lot of uh, details were added with the penguins cheering and, you know, mm -hmm. there's the big horn and the village right there with the penguins. Penguin village. Yeah, it was. Uh, and it's was, over, Tom. It's yeah, over. It's over. <laughs> That's it. Sto end of story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you want to have uh, more information about this track, just uh, <laughs> take your send, time. Send another video, play slower, please. I guess we should introduce a sightseeing mode yeah. where you race, but you need to with audio commentary. So uh, to your left. <laughs> All right. So where to next? Dragon mines. Dragon mines. Yeah. So my favorite. Thing. I'll try to tell that story quick. Um, it was called Dragon Mines, but be, there was uh, Komodo Joe yep. attached to the track, but there were no dragons. And people who know me know that I love <laughs> dragons. So the idea was like, why not put a dragon in Dragon Mines? You know, so the whole point was like, what if they dug so deep that they stumble upon an old dragon's treasure? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What? Yeah. Oh. That's, uh, All right. We just now I'm, learn I'm definitely learning something new. I knew that shortcut, but I never take it because I always get squashed. But that's impressive. 
So anyway, you see, you know, we have a uh, you know a full, we have a mining community uh, digging for gold. We even have the the animations matching the soundtrack. But look, who cares, right? At the speed at which <laughs> this guy's going, cares? that's see? so that's Boom. how you do it. So yeah, so you don't wait till the the card actually comes back and squashes it. Why so you... actually skipping the entire corkscrew section. <laughs> Which is pretty hard to pull off if you just yes. want to... Again, you need to use that advanced technique where you're hitting air brakes, uh, the mid-air brakes in the, in the air. Um, otherwise, it's really hard to not hit the wall. Wow. Yeah, the timing's okay, I'm, I'm impressed. Cutting that corner. Now now I know how to do it. Now it, it's just a no, matter no, of practice. No, no. Yeah, Tom, you need to do you, it. You've seen how to do it. Yeah. Yes. Does not mean you know how to. Uh, looks so easy. <laughs> We're already halfway pretty much halfway in. through. Yeah. I thought exciting. we created a kind of a four-hour game. Polar pass. <laughs> yeah, polar pass. So we transformed the whole thing as a fishing village for uh, you know bears. That was the whole point, with a little bit of uh, Viking inspiration. Yeah. For every track, we sort of tried to incorporate more of. Some of the characters that that you play in CTR. Yeah. So in this instance, it's more like imagine if it was uh, Polar's home village, right? That's that's just amazing. <laughs> oh, that shortcut right there is still one oh, I need to. Yeah, what? Yeah. He's got it. Yeah, yep. I'm I'm struggling. So sometimes I, ha I I get it. Sometimes I miss. Oh, well. Yeah, that one. That one's a classic. Like the, wow! The, the wow! <laughs> That's cool. Jumping straight line like Boom. this. Ooh, oh, yeah. nice! Cutting That's a lot of uh, cutting a lot of that time. Yeah, now he's yeah, on blue he's fire. Keeping. So. That's something I'm always impressed. Respect. Every time I see a person maintaining blue flight, oh, yep. it's just, oh, <laughs> you won't oh like wait, just this. Destroy I don't like seeing that. <clears throat> Exploit Oops. here. No, but that's. <laughs> yeah, that maintaining blue fire all the time. That's that's an impressive. Uh, Versus the yeah. I mean, I gotta have what? a chat with the... Uh... I didn't even know you could cut in that over. angle. Oh. So I can see what blue fire does. The power <laughs> of blue flame. The power of the blue flame. Uh, right in the middle right here, by the way. Is he gonna cut through the environment again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm gonna talk to. with the lead environment already. So gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put collisions here. <laughs> oh. Joe, fire somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that's that's impressive. By the way, in the middle of that track, there was a tree. We had it a tree house with dangling uh, kind of lights. Uh, it was just a dead tree in the, on PS One, but we thought it'd be nice to have like that little house with a uh, a, a sold a kind of yes. a, a house for sale. <laughs> because who want to have a house in the middle of a track <laughs> racing track? Okay, you know we're impressed. And here, uh, for the hub, same thing. You, you can see the penguin statue, like eye statue there. For every hub, uh, we tried to add... More depth a, and yeah. more story. Yes. Yeah. More details. Uh, a lot of inspiration coming from the tracks. A way to dress up. Ah, oh, man, that's... Tiny right. arena. So now we'll have more time to talk because yeah. that track is long. But that's another one of my favorite. We really wanted to push for the whole monster truck arena feel. Yeah. So and I feel when I when, when work on this level, uh, this one was a game changer, right? When yes. we yeah. when we worked on this level afterwards, every other level we sort of yeah. we sort of added more story, added more sprinkled in even more depth to it. Mm -hmm. Even went back into other tracks to add more stuff. But this, I remember working on this track, and this one was the game changer for us. Yes, it was definitely the track that we knew. We, it, it sort of gave us confidence yeah. in what we could achieve when we were pushing. The story elements are like the, the the story behind a track uh, to its full potential, and we're not even altering what it was, right? You know, the original track yeah, was totally. fairly straightforward, like in in, the, in its design, 
but now we've added like tiny statues, you know, fire, graffiti is all over the place. The zeppelin flying, the the, the planes flying over the area, the the lights uh, in the arena, sort of the spotlights. And look at look at this guy go. By the way, I mean, just like cutting corners yes. using that uh, advanced technique yeah, the of breaks. the mid air yeah. breaks. Woo. Very impressive. One thing we had a hard time to tweak was the physics of the jump in, 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 in this map. It was really a challenge with the, the engineer. Yep, and that's yeah, one that we had to... Our original. It was sort of the, the, the track to race on to try if we were actually mm -hmm. nailing the physics when you were jumping. The beginning when you were hitting bumps, sometimes we yep. would lose momentum, and that was something we didn't want to... Uh, it was something that was very important to keep, or to get right. Ooh. See that? Yeah, yeah, that's... A, just that short uh, turn. I mean, the mud puddles are not even an issue. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, and, you know, for people who might not know this, the, the best way to, to, to pull this off is to really use the D-pad. Uh, is that the only way? Because you can't, use, you can't do that with uh, the analog stick, right? You can, can you? with the stick, but it's harder. Because, uh, uh, you know, the experts are kind of using the D-pad yeah, as they, a way to break, break and, and then turn. I was not aware of that. Yeah, that's, at least that's what we were told by our expert designers here. So but old school style, playing yes. with the D-pad. Well, you can, you can play with the analog stick and then when you're about to, to, to jump in the air and turn, you just hit the D-pad and you do this and you, and you do this and then you get back to the analog stick. But it's easier to... I, I'm not driving with the D-pad personally, uh, so maybe that's why oh. I suck at this game. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, you know, I'm a decent driver. You're a, you're a good player. I guess I'm not going to reveal what my PS <laughs> Your tag account is. is. <laughs> but I remember why when we, we do reviews, you're in the review room, and we're just, normally we're supposed to look at the tracks and the progress we're doing in the tracks, and at some point we're, we're like four guys just racing and challenging ourselves. Yeah, we're not <laughs> looking at the environment. It, it's kind of funny when we're looking at it from a performance point of view and we're splitting the screen four, mm -hmm. and then at one point we're supposed to look at the environment and how it, you know, how it looks, and then we're just racing. And and, and by the way, people need to know that you know I'm playing this game every day still. Uh, you know, I, there's so much content that we're creating, and it's uh, you know we we love this game. We love working on this game, so um, we care about it so much. Poor Dingo died. Yeah. Uh, not Dingo died, but Komodo, Komodo Joe. No chance at all. <laughs> I definitely need to pull that one off. That's a good question you're asking. I hope this guy still has fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. You know, I would tend to continue on that ledge thinking, mm -hmm. and then, but then I would always get squished, so I would, I would wait to get a, a power up. A power or, up. Uh, aqua, aqua mask, something like that, yeah. Now we see how, uh, how you're supposed to pull it off. Already catching up. Yep. You see, you were asking that <laughs> question. You see, he was throwing crates. Yeah. Well, he's easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 20 minutes later, <laughs> Komodo Joe arrives. How did this happen? I don't know. So now we're in the last section. What's the name of that? Uh, Again, uh, I'm forgetting the section. Yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the castle, the, 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 the citadel. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, engine lab, uh, engine. Uh, uh, this level was uh, artistically speaking was a challenge. We had to figure out the right amount of details and how the surfaces would uh, react in terms of like the shaders. How you know how much industrial qualities we wanted to have in that level so we you know the way the toxic waste would glow and bounce off the uh, the environment um oh yeah we did so many the metal plating on the ground toxic glow yeah the metal plating on the ground that yeah, yeah that's that's, right. that's impressive 
I've seen that before, but I can I can do that. See, oh, yeah, it, look at that. That's the perfect map to use the, the mid-air uh, break. Yeah, because you have a lot of 90 degree turns. Yes, so. exactly. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. And it's oh, kind of funny. Oh, blast recre recreating that oh, uh, yeah. warp tunnel. And, and to be honest, you know, I've seen people saying that it felt like it was harder to pull, to drift around it, because yeah. I, we, we created something that is so hallucinating mm -hmm. when you go through that warp speed, that warp tunnel, that uh, sometimes I hit the walls. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow, did you see that? Yeah. Kind of a break in the middle, still maintaining Ooh. blue fire and hitting yes. that, that boost pad. That's impressive. No wonder the other players never finish <laughs> the race <laughs> if you're playing against that, that driver. Oh. Yeah, but he had, he a, had a shield. He had a shield, so blue orb. Like it was all planned. All <laughs> planned ahead. So look at that. Maintain the blue fire. It's Here beautiful. I can't blink. Use this potion. Wow! To block see, that makes that takes some very expert hands. To pull. There you go. There. Another, wow. another one. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, are we looking the times to the right? All of this. Is it the, the time to beat or the time? What are these? What are those, oh, those times? I say, are they just like a, sort of telling us when that time was hit? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah that's it what it just is. just switched. Yeah. Actually, it switched. I think it shows us where he is at. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. To fill the, the best possible time. Cortex Castle, that was one of the first night track that we, well, sort of nightish track that we needed to to get right uh and because it was called cortex castle we definitely wanted to to push the uh sort of like the the uh, nar uh narcissist qualities <laughs> of that castle by putting a lot of statues from cortex everywhere um painting and look, look, stained stained glass. look at how the corners are cut <laughs> What? Well, yeah, we can't see that. Yeah. There we go. Oh, just passed it. Hey. I assume we'll see blue fire all the way to the end. Yeah, pretty see, sure. Look, that's kind of impressive. I'm always hitting something when I yeah. when I get the blue fire, so I can keep it for a while. But oh, oh. yep, that's for people at home watching. <laughs> that was impressive. You know, cutting that corner with you know like the the mid air break, maintaining blue fire. Look at that. It, it almost feels like we're watching the game at the in uh, fast forward. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. I'm sure I, that right. Yeah, what yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. It's a cheat. It's just fast forward. Yeah, they're just fast forwarding the track. Look. Wow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> almost jumping that's over the garden. Oh. All right. Now I have to tell the environment <laughs> artist. Don't don't care about the details in the environment in the background. No. You know, no, no, no. nobody hey, nobody skip sees all it. The stairs. Oh. Watching a true master <laughs> in action. He should get a reward. Wow. You can see I still have a lot of. Uh, Practice. Play a lot. Yes, yeah, yeah. a lot. Of <laughs> practice. practice makes perfect. They say. Congratulations, you win a trophy. And and see, all of this could not have been done with Pura, you know, with a speed setting. No, nope. he nope. picked up speed, right? Y yes. Take with speed. Yeah, yeah. Took speed. So we had a drift as a as a fifth um, driving know. style, <laughs> and um, it's kind of interesting because I think um, some people like it. Uh, it's definitely focused towards the ability to better turn when drifting at the cost of actual top speeds, but yeah, you can when, see what happens when somebody yeah. knows this game so much like this. Oh, wow. jumping over the track like this. Again, using that yeah. advanced technique. 
No way to turn around that corner without doing yes. that. What? what? Yes. Oh! Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh. Yeah, that shortcut. Yeah, that's one of Going those. through the clouds. But that was legit? You know about this one? Yeah, it's legit. I had that's no idea this one existed. Oh, I knew about like, this one, although I'm yep. always hitting the walls, uh, but... Oh like my god. Shot. Yeah, it's like a... And, and by the way, are we... Are we on parody with the original game? No. There were no clouds, right? So you can yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I guess we made it diff we uh, we made it more difficult hey, for players. Yes. You have to know where to jump. Exactly. It's it's truly a leap of faith. <laughs> yes, a leap of faith. I have to see that again. He's going to do, Will it, do it again. Yeah. He's going to go for it. Yeah. Wow. All I'm right. To... Learning new things every day. <laughs> See, and here it's really difficult to actually do that without using the, the, the mid-air mm -hmm. brakes technique. Actually, I'm not even sure it's possible. Yeah, those small up keep the, is reserved. That's, Respect. That's great. Again, yeah. in the clouds. All right. You know, we're trying to make a game that's fun and accessible to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. But I feel that yeah, some of the players going online, I can't understand their frustration if they're yeah. not like pro players yeah, like this. That's for sure. It's a good thing we sort of added uh, matchmaking yes, in absolutely. a way of balancing out. I, I mean, it's 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 not perfect because we need to go through every everybody online. But I mean, there's a way of at least uh, leveraging uh, the score. And by the way, you can tell that 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 player likes it with the camera back for the uh, yeah for their way. I tend to like the, the camera close, but you know, I've seen some people um, internally playing with this. The, 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 some of the best players are playing with that camera angle so they can see what's going on uh, around them. I remember at the beginning, I was considering trying a bumper cam of sort. Yes. See what would happen if we would go in first person, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's not something that stuck for very long. We are like, no, I don't think it, it would be a distraction. It's super uh, fast paced. Maybe it was too hard to, to see. I wasn't aware well, it, it, It's just, it's just that, you know, when I'm playing racing games, sometimes I like to really get in the, yeah, in yeah. the middle of it. Like so the you rally see your games car and stuff and, like yes, that? Uh, or I'm a big fan of the Wipeout series. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's kind of fun to race. Uh, it's kind of see, it's nice to see your ship, but sometimes not. And we, we considered it, but never never decided to, to go forward with it see here that's a very good example of how to use all the the expert techniques to cut around the corners of this track because oxide station is a very technical track um and by the way folks you might have not noticed but we're almost to the end yeah. <laughs> oh you're which right is, which is kind yeah, of insane we've hour. been talking and and, and by the way, for Oxide Station, we decided to make, to create sort of a mining uh, facility, if you remember. So yeah. creating this huge asteroid. Nitro mining facility. Yeah. And so having this is like, where all the nitro comes from. Yeah. And so this is why you see all the pumping stations sort of like yeah. uh, extracting that green liquid. But it's all, it's all part of our <laughs> It's all part of our quest to sort of open up all the levels that, that from the original game, right? Yes. Give more depth. Uh, there might not be uh, shortcuts uh, in this one. Well, there used to be an exploit that we fixed mm -hmm. uh, that you could do in the original game. There was even an exploit we realized. Sometimes it happens. We see people doing things that were like, nope, that, yeah, not, that, that's, that's not legit. Thing. So we make the, the changes. But look at him go. Almost feels like you're racing on a straight line. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, and that's that, that's a tricky part here because if you go too much to the right, uh, you, you get teleported back on the track. So you have to be just. And we're almost done. And there you have it. 
Wow and wow. So we're almost at the end. Snowflakes falling out? Uh, yes. Uh, it's probably because it it takes whatever Grand Prix we had at the moment, and I think for, we oh, have snowflakes for okay. Hot Air Skyway. With Pinstripe. <laughs> that, that we're probably not oh, going to see. Again, yep. poor Pinstripe. No chance. That's a problem with the, the, the original Look. boss design. There's no... They have no powers to block people that go, that go in front of them. But that yes. was the way that it was. <laughs> was. But I mean, you, you, you can tell. I mean, that's... that's Hardcore. Oh yeah, uh, yeah because true. otherwise some other people yep. would struggle. Because yep. as soon as you get hit by a box, a crate, a yeah. bomb, or um, you know a vial, um, it becomes sometimes difficult to catch up yep. and then get in front of the the boss and then maintain that uh, momentum. <laughs> See, like jumping, hopping like that, and when you're turning is a good way of not losing your speed. Um, because, you know, then there's no friction. Just keep bouncing, and if you can master that technique. Uh, a suggestion, and I, we talked about this earlier on, but playing Ring Rally really helps you um, understand or at least maneuver while in blue fire. Yeah. So you could get better at racing, and so once you stop playing with the rings and you get back on a track, uh, you get more familiar with how you can maintain your speed you see, like, he didn't even get, he didn't even get hit. Passed him by a second spec. time. No, Pinstripe was just like that spec that just passed by. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Amazing. Well... That was uh, impressive, again. No challenge there. <laughs> and I think we're already at Oxide. Oxide's challenge, wow. Under an hour. It felt like it lasted 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, after yeah. watching this, it's gonna be hard to impress us. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, you know, for me, Oxide was a fairly difficult boss to beat, honestly. Once you get hit by all those crates, so you have to really maintain, you have to stay focused. Oh, just, just, just stay in front of him, right? Yeah, 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 just, just, <laughs> just do that. He has the right idea. Yep. And never look back. Yeah, and then... Uh, of course, you need to beat him again uh, once you've collected everything, like the tokens, the relics. But still, very, very impressive. Uh, yeah, and we we saw that that uh, we saw him go through the collision and polar pass. I haven't seen too much of the others no, though, no, so no, I, I guess no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's done <laughs> fairly good job. <clears throat> So besides that polar pass thing, everything was le legit, legal. Yeah, fairly, you know, it was pretty good. <laughs> but even though, you know, even the ring rally mode, you would, you know, you eventually find places where you could just like fly through the, the, the collision. We had to, you know, just uh, deal with it as long as it doesn't break the game. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's been quite a run. I think uh, we could say we're all impressed, right? Yes. Totally. <laughs> Hands down. The best player I've seen. And there's something amazing about creating something for fans, and then you realize that you've actually created something, almost created a monster. Look. Yes, absolutely. I mean, yeah. we've played and played this game over and over again, and I still can't achieve that level of skill uh, when racing through the track. So it's a good thing somebody finds ways of just enjoying the game uh, you know, to its full extent. Yeah, that's what I think is the straight of CTR. Yep. It's Easy to get into, but really hard to become a master. That's great. 
Well, I must say, I must say it was a nice run. It was. One final jump. We're all watching in silence. <laughs> yeah, no more things to like, say. We're just it's watching like that, it all. <laughs> that stressful moment where you just awesome. Like, awesome. <laughs> Is something amazing gonna happen just before it crosses the line? Very impressive. Congrats. Yeah. Woo. Yep. That That's was it. awesome. It's done. Good job.